What's up fam? We're in my backyard. You know what that means. I guess it's time for some sound design and songwriting. So uh, let's jump into it. Rolling. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before in the last video, but for some reason the Oplab module that goes with my OPZ for CV and gate here does not seem to want to work without this rubber band being placed right there. So if you're wondering why this rubber band is around my OPZ, it's not broken. Uh, well, I guess it, it kind of is, but it, it's still functional without the rubber band. Just the Oplab module doesn't send gate CV out for whatever reason. Uh, also, I'll put a patch description in the notes of this, uh, or the description rather, of this video. Um, instead of explaining this, it's not very complicated. I just don't really feel like going over it at this time. Also, the output of the your rack here is going into my Ibanez AD202 rack mount delay as a rack mount or a, a external audio effect in Ableton here. So that's the delay effect that you hear, not Ableton's delay, but pure analog gooey gooey goodness. So let's just jump into this. Uh, I don't really want to spend any time with the OPZ, programming with the OPZ. Um, rather, I kind of want to do everything a little bit more with live instruments. Um, for drums, I'm going to be using some loops that I have previously recorded of myself and other people playing, uh, playing drums. Uh, I, can't, I have a lot of uh, loops in my Ableton uh, folder, sample folder. So let's just dive in here. And uh, I think we're going to go with the key of F because as as everybody knows that F is the funkiest key and we're going to make some funky music right now. So yeah. Let's program some some notes here and uh, let's see what this is like. Uh, let me also kind of dial in this delay effect here. That's pretty close. Um, all right, that's kind of annoying. Let's just kind of put in some some notes here. Yeah, that's... That's pretty cool. I like that. This knob I have set up to control the... <clears throat> Excuse me. This knob I have con uh, set to control the filter uh, cutoff CV. And this kind of sets the random for the... Uh, or the, the spatialization, I guess, for the random CVs that are coming out of the uh, this thing. You can see this turning from red to... I don't think that's coming through on the camera here. Hi there. Anyway, I don't think that's picking up on the camera. So, let's just continue. Yeah. I'm liking that. That's a that's a that's a good starting point. So uh, I'll open up that filter a little bit more. Yeah, that's pretty groovy. So I'm just gonna go in here and uh, throw some drums in. Um, let's see. Uh, where's my Stuff. Let's see, we'll just go to find something kind of funky. Probably like a break beat, maybe. Let's see here. Let's just search for break beats. Break beat funky, look at that. That's what we're going to use. Let's see what this sounds like. Pretty groovy. Uh, let's get 
that to match the tempo of our current thing there. That's seeming pretty good. Let's see. Okay, I'm hoping I'm matching all these uh, up with Ableton. This is getting kind of difficult to uh, probably sync up, but uh, we'll get it. We'll get it going. So let's see. All right, now let's do some bass on this. Okay, we've got the ukulele, we've got a microphone sitting in a very professional way, just on the, sitting on top of a rack mount, like most professionals would. So, let's lay down some, uh, some funky uke. It's in the key of F, so it's gonna be funky. And let's just pick a spot, start recording. I guess I'm just gonna do the same kind of chord progression over the whole thing so we can solo over it and not really be restricted by much. So let's see. Key of F. Let's go uh F C D minor. Sounds about right. Okay, so I, as I was listening back to this before I'm going to put the melodica in, I want to kind of mess with the effect, the delay effect here. This is the AD202, and uh, I'm going to kind of play with the effect and get a more atmospheric sound on the modular sound, the, the Eurorack sound, and have it be less like a, a lead or a, a, a harmony to go along with this. I want it to be kind of just a, a general texture, so let's, let's texture it. Okay, I've got the melodica here, and let's do some soloing over this pretty little ditty.
what we got. Something they don't tell you about the melodica is that it gets spit in this tube, and it's gross. And that's the jam. Hope you liked it, peanut butter.